for today's video, we're going to be looking at this C18. We're over here actually in the warehouse. This is a new engine that just came in. This is going in an 836K landfill compactor. Those are the 988 loader size machines that have a blade on the front and the big spiked wheels that try to shove all the trash down in the landfill to get as much in a landfill as possible. This machine, that, that machine actually had a engine that was pressurizing the cool syst cooling system. So Caterpillar is actually gonna put a new engine in that machine. So that's what this is right here. A few little standouts on this engine is it has canister style fuel filters. These are both of your fuel filters here. Here's the part number. And then here's the water separator. This switch right here is primes that. There's that wild looking intake elbow like we've documented on the past with some of the engine in the shop. It just looks completely different. Here's that. This is your exhaust gas recirculation. Pumping it back in after it's cooled. But of course, CAT doesn't call it that. They don't call it an EGR system, but we all know that's pretty well what it is. There's your oil tube. And as you can see, this one has a centralized oil pan. A little bit different than what we're used to seeing in a truck application with the front or rear sumps. There's the ECM. This is all the modulation equipment right here on that EGR valve. This tube runs around the back. As you can see on the top, pretty basic on the valve covers, not much. Just that one logo right there in the middle. Here's the serial number. This is an RDP 12973. Comes in on this wood pallet. There's that tube that runs around, kind of from this, what's commonly called an EGR cooler, right here on the side. Of course, I think Cat calls it an NGR cooler. And as you can see, we got heat shielding on all of this because these machines are really prone to catching on fire, so all of this stuff has to be well guarded. Here's your oil cooler. Oil line for the turbo right there. That's the drain, I believe. Here's the oil feed. There's that drain on the oil pan right there. Here's your identification plate on the block, if you ever wanna know where it is, right here on the rear right corner. Here's that tube that they started with on the MBN truck engines. Wrapping all the way around the rear of the cylinder head here. Water pump. Looks pretty similar. This is a little bit different down here than what you're used to seeing. Because there's that tube where the coolant goes up into the exhaust gas cooler right there. So I guess this thing will have an externally mounted oil filter because I don't see one on it. There's thermostat housing. This is just telling that they filled it with oil. Well, they might not have filled it with oil. This is just, they've inspected it. So this will have a bracket mounted here for all your accessories, your AC compressor, your alternator, etc. There's the tensioner mounted. So this will be going in the machine. That machine had an engine that was pressurizing the cooling system, so Cat decided to just send a brand new engine out for it. So. Just wanted to take a video of this while we had it here in the back of the warehouse. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video.